Welcome to Lumos Learning. We are dedicated to helping students succeed on state assessments, and our platform has been developed by expert teachers. Lumos Learning is trusted by 27,000 schools, 54,000 teachers, and 373,000 students. Today's tutorial is for educators. We'll be showing you how to add students to your class and invite parents to be a part of the educational process. Thanks for joining us. Let's head to the tutorial. Welcome to the Lumos Learning Tutorial. Once you've logged in, you can go under your My Account tab and then also your My Students tab and you'll see where we'll add students to our class list. Use the Add Student button to populate your list. You can put in the student's first name and last name or you could put in student ID numbers or any other identifying name you would like to use. Lumos Learning is privacy compliant for COPA and FERPA regulations, so you can choose how to enter names and trust the privacy of this platform. For now, we will use a student name. Then you will give them their student login of your choice and a student password of your choice as well. Once you do that, you'll be able to secure their account and they'll have an individualized place on your class list. Here we have our class that we're adding them to. You can have multiple classes here, but for now we just have one. We will hit create and they will be successfully added to our list. And you can see right there the first name, last name, login ID, and the class that they're involved in. Now, another thing that's a great feature of this program is you're able to do student cards. And when you click on the student cards button, a PDF will come up and you'll be able to see the login of the people that are in the class and all their information. You can also cut these out and put them on student folders to help remind them when they forget their login information. If you'd like to upload a list of students, you can use the upload file button. You can download an Excel document that will enable you to put your entire class into one list. Here we have the Excel file and you'll see that we can add student names and fill the whole list with class information. After we've done that, we can open that file up and upload it to the platform. Once you've done that, the entire class list will appear here and you'll be left with an Excel document to use for your record keeping. Another way to easily add students is with the pick list. If other teachers have put students' names into the system or entire schools have been put into the system, you'll be able to see their names listed here and quickly click on them and add them to your class so that they can be a part of your class list. This is a great way for administrators to get the whole school on board. If you'd like to remove a student at any time from your class list, you can archive them using the cloud icon. If I wanna remove a student, I'll click next to their name, hit the cloud icon button, and I can archive them in a couple of different ways. Once I've done that, they won't show up on this list and it'll keep my class list a little cleaner for my record keeping purposes. But I still have access to all the information and can bring them back from the archive file at any time. There may be a time when you need to edit student information and you could do that right here by clicking on the pencil and you'll see all the student information. So if you have to change their login or their name or their password, you can do that as well in this area. You can also check boxes in the IEP section to help you better serve your students. Another great feature is the invite parent button. Once you click on that, you'll be able to invite the parent to the educational experience on Lumos Learning. You can get a copy of the invite sent to your inbox. You can also allow parents to access the assign function, which will enable them to use the platform to find extra exercises for their child at home to practice with. Once you hit submit, you'll be getting a confirmation that says that they've been invited and you'll see it right here in the interface. Additionally, there is a consent form button that will produce a PDF that could be emailed to parents so they can give consent for their student to be on the Lumos Learning platform. Thanks again for joining us on the Lumos Learning Tutorial. 